So, tonight's tango routine at South Dord, uh, we did a lot of frame and hold, so we were looking at making sure that our feet stay reasonable distance apart, so there's room for them to move, our weight transfers forward, the hold, we as leaders put our hands around and aim for shoulder blades, followers aim around the back as well, there should be arm contact there, not too heavy followers, so don't lean too hard on, but there should be contact. And my forearm should contact her rib cage so that there's a connection there. Um, we then did some walking, showing the idea that as I lean forward, she feels the lead before I step, so her foot gets out of the way, so I step into the space vacated by that. And then we did something uh, called a linear cross. Um, the, we were just looking at walk, walk, and we turn out slightly, and then using this forearm connection, bring our partner across into the cross position, and then we can carry on walking. And we can do that repeatedly. It's a nice, simple little thing, typical of Milonga dancing. So you can do this repeatedly around the room. Very simple, nice little cross shape, works fine. Remember that the cross is not a step. You don't think, oh, I've got to here, I now need to do the cross. The cross is as a result of your body weight being moved past the weighted leg. So you get to there and you think, I'm going to fall over, so I will put that foot down. And that's how the cross happens. Um, so it's not a step and a turn, is literally as a result of the turn of the step, you end, the turn of the weight change, you end up with the foot underneath you. If you think about your feet, just basically trying to stay underneath your centre of mass, so as you move, if you go sideways, your feet stay under you the whole time. Yeah?